Hello everyone, welcome back to another uh, video on the Taz PA channel. Uh, I am Taz PA, but I'm going to start going by my real name, Zach, at least for videos like this, where I'm reviewing, uh, where I'm going to review stuff. <laughs> um, okay, so if you have not yet seen, um, if you have yet to see Avengers Infinity War, Go watch it. That's all I can say uh, for the spoiler spoiler free part. Is go watch it yourself. Um, it, it's it's interesting and definitely one of those that you gotta see for yourself in order to really be like. Um, well, let me go ahead and give a pretty much. If you thought the character was safe because of, uh, well, because of popularity, or because of, um, or, or, or because of, uh, you know, you, you thought they were safe, think again, um, and this is the part where I'm going to get into kind of spoilery parts, uh, I gotta say I love the part where, um, and I can't, I'm doing this on my phone so I can't edit and add a scene, plus they probably haven't, aren't on YouTube yet, but, um, I love the part where, um, Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark and, uh, and, uh, the Sorcerer Supreme, uh, meet, um, and if you don't know, the guy who plays, uh, Doctor Strange and the guy who plays, and Robert Downey Jr., or Benjamin Cumberbatch and Robert Downey Jr. are both have have both played Sherlock Holmes. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. played him in the live action in, in the in the movies, and uh, Benjamin Cumberbatch played him in the BBC TV show. Uh, I personally prefer the TV show over the movies, but that's my personal opinion. Um, but let's just say it's the meeting of the Sherlocks, uh, and they they kind of. If you ever wanted to see the two Sherlocks meet each other and kind of kind of fight to see which Sherlock was better, that's kind of what you get. Except they're not Sherlock. Um, they're they're both uh, they're both they're 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 characters in, from the MCU. Uh, and but you can kind of see that whole. I was a better Sherlock. No, I was. And then I was a, I've got the TV show. Yeah, but you only come out. But it only shows up what, what once every twenty years, or once every you know three years, uh, and then one season. <laughs> yeah, but you only had two movies. <laughs> um, I had two seasons and a special. <laughs> um, or a season and a special or something. Um, but you get to see that um, when. I love Iron Man's new armor. Again, if you have not seen it, go watch it. <laughs> um, if you've ever, uh, for those of you that have seen it um, and are watching this to kind of see my thoughts on it, um, definitely I, I love what armor they went with uh, this time around. They decided to go with, they, they finally went to the armor that I kind of like, especially when playing uh Marvel's Lego Marvel's Avengers um, because it's just the more the the most well-rounded Iron Man is like the multi-tool you, you have a dig spot you unlock that armor go uh, anyway I, I'm, I'm going off into the game um, in this move in the movie he, the uh, triangle that is on his chest is actually not in his chest but pretty much similar to the glove from Captain America Civil War or the suitcase from um, Iron Man 3 or even the bracelets from um, Iron Man uh, from uh, from from the Avengers um, where they all kind of summon his suit the bracelet has it lock on him so it's easier for him to, to get to it um the suitcase he puts down and puts on um the glove he kind of pulls over onto his hand um the, the, kind of the same idea 
Um, they explain it by a bunch of nanobots that he pushes and then it pops over. He has created, if you've ever read the comics, he's created the superior, I believe it's the superior Iron Man or, or the invincible Iron Man armor. C kinda, if, if you've ever read the comics, the armor that he controls with Extremis, uh, where he doesn't need a separate suit of armor and be able to just climb in the armor. He is the armor. Uh, in the comics, it's actually in his bloodstream. Um, and it kind of just comes out of his bloodstream or any metal or any electronics. He creates the armor or something. Uh, they did it in Armored Adventures, uh, kind of. Um, so that's uh, that's kind of part of it. Um, but yeah, the superior armor, the... the uh, superior arm man armor the one that he kind of controls and i like the glasses that he wore it made him look like a total nerd from like the 80s he just like he, he was like oh i'm i'm on a jog and da, da, da. although his track suit was part of the iron man suit it was like the the suit between him and the suit uh which was kind of cool um but he throws on the and i guess the triangle had wi-fi because he threw or you know he's just awesome he throws on the glasses and goes what am i looking at friday when 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 stuff starts hit, starts hitting the fan um and and he definitely is doing a great or i like i like or he's definitely still my favorite character out of most of the people um spider-man big he's a big if, if you think thought he wasn't enough in uh civil war he has a whole lot bigger part in this movie uh, and he actually gets to wear that armor that we saw in, um, at the end of Homecoming, although you kind of got to see that already in the trailers, um, except it does have the, um, it, it is the Iron Spider suit. It, the first suit was more of a prototype and a, oh, hey, here's a better suit than the, the one that you came up with good dry but here's something that'll actually help you the next one is the actual iron spider um without getting into too much detail because i don't want to do a complete i want to do a sort of mostly spoiler free um thing um although i will i will say that uh thor while he has while he had the eye patch um he looked a lot like his dad. I just kept seeing Odin for some reason. Uh, whenever I saw Thor with um, with the eye patch, I just kept seeing Odin. I'm like, what's Odin doing? I mean, what? Um. So yeah, uh, that was kind of cool. Um, seeing him interact with the Guardians was. He kept not really a spoiler. It's, it's not a spoiler, but he kept calling Rocket the raccoon a rabbit <laughs> which is kind of cool um and his new hammer it's not a hammer although in the comics it is a hammer but it's not his um and if you sh if you've seen the movie you know what i'm talking about and this this hammer is all pow is like way more powerful than his last one um however something that got me and it's not really a spoiler but you know how in thor ragnarok after his hammer broke, he still could summon lightning and zzz, zzz, I am Thor, the god of lightning, and be able to actually still get you with lightning. Well, they scrapped it in Infinity War. We open up, he's getting his butt kicked. No lightning powers. Uh, the entire way through the movie until he gets his new weapon, no lightning. Finally gets his new weapon, what? Boom! Lightning! Out of nowhere, and it's like, we take the wah, what do we, huh? How do we do Um, and all those theories, such as, um, Matt Pat's theory about, uh, where the final, st where the soul stone was, I thought it would be, uh, I thought it would be, it, I thought it would be the same thing. No, uh, completely different, they went a different route, which still makes, gives you us a new theory, um, so yeah uh also or it gives me a new theory uh I'll, talk, I'll probably talk about that more later um also 
the um, so that's not where it, where it was. Uh, Hulk is actually only in the movie for maybe um, Hulk is ha or Bruce is having a um, okay adult joke warning adult w joke warning he's having a um, get it up problem. The Hulk doesn't want to come out and play. Literally, like, I, normally the, in the cartoons and stuff, they'll have, like, an inner battle. But it, it was cool because, like, he's like, come on, big guy, come on. Hey, hey. And then he'd show up for a second and be like, nah, bro. And then pop back down. He's like, what? What you talking about? I need you, dude. Um, so that was kind of cool. I and mean, I guess that's a little bit of a spoiler. Um, but... See what else? What else is there that's not major a spoiler? Oh, um, but yeah, Matt Pat was kind of wrong with the, um, and and the uh, the end credit really wasn't. It, it was a lead towards the next movie, which is uh, Captain Marvel, and you know, because because you had uh, a Captain Marvel connection, but it didn't really. It wasn't the same as some of the past, um, after, you know, end of... Because normally they'll have, like, a mid-trailer connection and then an end credit. This one you had to sit through 20, like, what felt like 20 minutes of credits in order to get to the scene, and the scene was, like, a minute long. <sighs> not what I expected. I mean, I knew there was a scene, but I... I not, mm, the, the hype was built up too much. Um, so, yeah, there's that. It, yeah, I, I, I watched it, and there were a few scenes where I'm like, ooh, I know, I know what that is. I, I, I know, like, when the, um, the Thor went to, um, get his, um, get, get a weapon built so he could defeat Thanos. Um, and when he went to the forge, the, uh, giant or the, the dwarf, who's actually known for playing small parts. He was in Underdog. He was in uh, X-Men, Days of Future Past. He's been in Game of Thrones uh, as small people. Uh, he was the guy who created the Sentinels in Days of Future Past. He was the bad guy in Underdog. I don't watch Game of Thrones, but I know he's in that. They made him huge. <laughs> um... Although dwarves are supposed to be small, they decided, nah, CG. Uh, so that's kind of a spoiler, meh. But that's funny and kind of an interesting uh, thing. Um, I think that's all I can think about right now. It's not giving away major plot points. Um, but if, if I'll, I will say this, if you know that they have another movie coming, it kind of defeats the whole hype, the whole dramatic stuff, so, like, if you've, if you've heard that, oh, there's gonna be, uh, this movie two, and this movie three, and in order to get this character, they had to do two movies plus other movies, or two of its own movie, and then another one, it's like, you know, they're gonna make it out okay, it's like reading a book. And you're you're reading and you're reading and you're getting scared for the characters. Then you skip to the end and you read the final chapter and you find out that everybody's or that you know certain people are going to be okay. It makes the whole dramatic reveal and 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 and, and dramatic tension pointless. Um, so if you're going to go watch this, don't look up anything about the. Uh, don't look up any of the IMDb pages. Don't look up. Um, don't, don't look up what movies are coming out in the next wave. Don't look up anything. Do, do not look up any of that. Trust me. Um, because that's practically reading the last chapter of a book and finding out that there's a happy ending. Don't read any of it. Just, just go in blind and you'll be, and you'll be shocked. You'll, you'll love, you'll, you'll be taking, a, you'll be so much more because like i said i kind of already knew what uh, what wave 3 movies are coming out and they, and and so when 
characters. Uh, so so when things happen, I'm like, yeah. So anyway, guys, uh, talk to you guys all next time. There's gonna be two videos coming out today, hopefully. Uh, this one and another one about me moving. Uh, ho or I think I went into more detail into that one or into the whole moving situation in that other video, uh, which is why I'm having to hold the phone like this and not use my computer, and why I'm only using it here because, uh, well, first of all, my lamp, my light here busted, so everything is dark except for that one lamp. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be moving soon, so hopefully more content can uh, appear that, or, you know, I can come out with more content uh, when I'm not busy. Um, let me know down in the con in the in the um let me know down in the comments below what you guys want me to do do you want to see more movie reviews do you want to see more um more vlogs do you want to see where i'm gonna be uh wh what do you guys want to see uh anyway guys have a nice day bye